Hi everyone. In our last video, we have seen what are stored properties uh, for a model. Uh, uh, what are constant stored properties and uh, what are variable stored properties. For example, uh, this is a constant stored property. Stored properties are uh, stored in the memory uh, as part of the instance of a model. This is Whereas this is a variable stored property. So this is a constant, this is a variable, both are stored properties which will be stored as, pro as part of this uh, product instance. As we know, uh, all the stored properties need to be assigned a value uh, before uh, the model initialization is completed which is mandatory that is the reason if you look at that is what it is saying meaning it should have a default value before the initialization happens now in this video let's see what are uh, uh, constant we have seen variable we have seen what what are lazy stored properties and uh, where they are very useful and which scenarios we can uh, use the lazy stored properties in this video we will see now let's Take an example, for example, I'm taking a view controller, view controller class. Uh, generally in uh, MVVM design pattern, having a default in it, in MVVM design pattern, we, we you know, like, we do a view model. Let me take view model class. Here, let me have and in it also where uh, print view model initialized let's say this is good so in this scenario what happens uh, even without accessing that means even when I need it or I don't need uh, without worrying about that whenever I create a view controller instance this view model will be initialized why because this see this got initialized I have not yet used it yet but this got initialized why because this is a variable stored property of of the view controller class now it's fine uh, if, if this view model is very light and uh, now if this uh, so, so that it will occupy very less memory in, in those scenarios it is fine but what if this is this initialization is a complex that means based on your screen based on your view controller if the view controller having the complex logic then your view model also will become complex and in it, its initialize the initialization also will become complex because of the dependencies that it has to initialize and store it now in, in that case uh, let's say our view con I have I need uh, view model to download some data otherwise I don't need it technically now I I want this view model to be initialized whenever I need it not uh, in not immediately uh, when I initialize a view controller which which I don't need it technically unless until I need the view models uh, has to download the data I don't need the view model so this is the scenario where this lazy helps us we can call it as a lazy initialization also now I'll, I'll put a lazy key uh, lazy keyword here now what what happens if, if you look at it when I run it again your view model will not be initialized why because I have put a lazy so until unless I need the view model now I have I, I, I have called the method in the view model that means I'm invoking the view model now the first time when I use the view model then only it will get initialized now see if I don't need it okay I, I don't need it now again if I run it your view model will not get initialized this is one of the use cases of uh, a lazy initialization where if you if you are having a, uh, a stored properties whose initialization is very complex or uh, uh, it could be view model or it could be your uh, code data code data manager it could be your location 
uh, services it could be your date formatters which are very complex in the initialization and we don't need it technically until unless a user can go through the screens and click on back button and, and go to the uh, go to the previous screen uh, without doing any action on the screen in that case just initializing it and keeping it it in the memory doesn't make any sense so in these cases lazy stored properties are very helpful like constants and uh, variable stored properties lazies are also stored properties they get stored as part of the ins instance so the advantage of lazy is uh, if, if we have any other uh, if you have any other uh, let's say I have first name uh, I have last name so as this is, uh, as these two are stored properties they need to have a value before the initialization completes that is the reason you're getting this error why right? because these are not got initialized why right? because we have not set a value for these things so but if it is a lazy we don't need to initially uh, initially give a value the value will be assigned uh, it could be an initialization or it could be a complex operation that will be assigned uh, whenever we first invoke it so that's the reason lazy should not be a let why because if it is a let before the initialization completes it should be having a value the lazy initialization happens at, at runtime whenever we we invoke it that's the reason a lazy should not be a let so let's try to give it a let and see what we get lazy cannot be used on a let it cannot be used on a let it should be aware why because its initialization happens after initialization completes at runtime whenever we invoke it that is the reason it should not be let constant so this is one of the use cases where if I have a complex initialization I can put it as a lazy and whenever I invoke it then it happens now let's go to the second use case where uh, for example I have a stored property let's say I have first name and last name where for which let me create the initializers quickly uh, why because I have to use self here uh, as we discussed in our previous videos why because this initializer property names are exactly same as stored property names so I have to use self here dot last name is equal to last name now I need to initialize accordingly let's say I was let's say salt now uh, this is fine <coughs> as first name and last name I can give some values but what if I have let's say full name uh, which is also a string which is nothing but first name space plus last name now that means this is also a stored property but but this depends on other stored properties technically but this will not be available until unless this initialization completes but uh, meaning this stored property depends on other stored properties in the same class so that is what this error is saying cannot use instance member f name within property initializer an instance member cannot be used within property initializer this in this property initializer we cannot use it why because property initializers run before self is available these run property initializers these run before self is available that means at this point of time when you are assigning first name plus space plus last name at this point of time it doesn't know what is self that means what is the instance it doesn't know so in this case also uh, lazy is helpful let me give you the same this is the syntax where you need to give the braces like this and you need to return your logic first name so plus last name so this is also one scenario where 
like our uh, stored property depends on some external factors or other stored properties within the class, then uh, the ledger is useful. And let's see, let me call vc dot full name here. Now if I run it, it is iOS space solves first place, first name sorry, first name space last name. Now this is also a stored property. This is the initial value we have given and as it is depending on the other stored properties of the class we have gone with lazy. So do not get confused with the computed properties. Uh, lazy properties are stored the properties, computed properties are not stored properties, computed properties we will discuss in our next video. Now to see that uh, you may think as full name is depending on first name, you may think like okay let me change uh, change the first name and do not expect full name changes, it will not, why because full name initial value is always iOS solves until unless you set some value, it's the same as now I have changed it it's same as the initial value until unless you set something now its value should be let me print it again now its value should be the one I have set it this is the initial value when this or this changes, as this is depending on this and this, this will not get changed. Get changed. This is just the initial value. This is also a stored property, and this will have and this will have the value only when this and this have a value. So there are two use cases. One thing is if there is a complex initialization is needed we can go for lazy if there is a if there is a, and, and there is something which depends on some external factors and which has to wait until initialization of some other stored properties has to be completed these are the cases where we can go with the lazy initialization or lazy uh, uh, lazy property initialization this is a property initialization technically this is also a property initialization giving an initial value this is also a property initialization do not get confused it with computed properties which are not stored properties this lazy or stored properties this value will be saved in the memory as part of this view controller instance i hope this video is helpful on lazy thank you